The big man on Ojali took a, another win today, second of the season at Tua Passage. And I think this goes to show that he could be more of a classics rider as well as a sprinter than people potentially think. So this was the stage very flat with a couple punchy hills, like two minutes long. You can see the stage was pretty noodly until it hit some crosswinds and it was extremely not noodly and was like 49 average. And like for some of it was kind of like ridiculous, like 58 kilometers an hour, like that is a joke. Anyway, they finished on like a two minute, minute and a half berg. You can see the run in super stressful, like the last what, five minutes, he averaged 475 normalized, so pretty mental, you can see some big sprints, 1200 watts, but this man already won in uh, the GP community at Valenciana uh, a couple of weeks ago, in a bunch sprint, won a lot last year, um, but the question is, you know, is he a sprinter, is he a classics man, well, we're going to go find out, a minute and a half at nine and a half watts per kilo is strong, uh, very, very strong, and in my opinion, one of those things where you're kind of thinking he's being Mad Pe Mads Pedersen on uphill finish. Mads Pedersen's finished second in Flanders before um, in 2019. You know, there's potential here that he he could go well. Um, on the Paterberg, does he have the watts per kilo on it for a minute? Maybe. Obviously, you know, 250k uh, monument is a bit different to this, which is only like four hours long, three hours and a half long. But it goes to show that he is maybe more of a sprint than more than a sprinter, like a Mads Pedersen. Not necessarily, you know, a pure Wout well, Bernard Van der Poel Classics kind of rider, but maybe edging more that way than a pure, like, you know, I, I hate to say it, but like a Marechko kind of like just lead him out and that's all he can do. If there's a hill or a crosswind, he's in trouble. Now you can go see some numbers. Domestique always do some good, good stuff. Uh, Dali didn't do his 20 minute, but I believe he was on like 450 or like five and a half watts per kilo, something like that, before he, he built, pulled the plug. But you can see here on a deleted 7.14 watts per kilo for five minutes. Now, you can kind of see like where other people are around. Brent Van Moor, obviously strong. De Gens doing close to eight. Uh, camping at 7.6. I take these weights with a little bit of pinch of salt. It's off season ish, so like they might be a little bit heavier, but you know, obviously in their prime, they're probably not going to lose watts when they're, when they're getting lean. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see that like, okay, 7.1 is good, um, for sure, but it's not like absolutely bonkers, but it's probably enough in a classics race early on, uh, to, to ensure that he can be there and that if his fatigue resistance gets good enough, he, he could do it, you know, maybe more like an Arnaud Dumas. So I think this ride is really promising. If we actually scroll down, you'll see some stuff about, um, Arnaud Dali cracking out uh, three by 30 seconds at 1200 watts, which is really, really strong. So again, I think this goes to show that he's got the potential. You can see here, like he, he did sort of like a thousand watts here following Pedersen. And then when he actually gapped him was on like the flatter part, he just like leant on his bike a little bit and cracked out like a thousand watts. But anyway, I think this goes to show the man has potential as more of a classics rider than maybe initially thought. Uh, I, I don't expect him necessarily to be like a pure classic guy, but I think he's one of those people in Gent where we're going with the Kemmelberg, you know, something where potentially he, he could do something. I mean, I'm not so sure about the Poggio. It's longer. Maybe he could, maybe he couldn't. But I also think, you know, if we if we look at him, he's not exactly like mega, mega lean. Like he can definitely lose some kilos when he gets older and stuff because um, he's still young and generally like when riders get older, they lose a bit of weight. So I think that will definitely help him. And obviously he'll just get stronger. So for sure, like I think in the future, he could do well in San Remo or something similar to that. But I think it does go to show uh, that yeah, he, he's a strong boy and that he's not necessarily just a pure sprinter. But anyway, cheers for watching. Sorry about the dead videos recently. I've been absolutely cooked unit cracking out 30 hour week last week and has not gone, done bits for the uh, creativity. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.